After four days of floods and unprecedented levels, villagers in Bamboo No. 2 can now access their homes. But not all of them, as many properties are still inundated with levels reaching five feet in some areas. But today, for those returning, they could only count their losses as they try to return to some semblance of normalcy. For many, the damages is unimaginable. For doubles vendor Rocky Sugdio, it was an emotional moment and he's coming to terms with starting all over again. So much, so much, so much, real, real breakdown. When my children started to cry, it was the worst. So I said, no life again, give, so you know, we go work again because we do doubles. His refrigerators are now useless and items water soak. His life savings might also have been washed away in the floods. Well, I had, some, I had a saving in a little, a little pan and on winter my children. And every day I sell doubles, I but hundred in that pan hundred for about three years. I don't know if somebody get the pan and then we throw it away, but we still looking. Still hoping to find it. Behind me in the distance you are seeing some villagers here in Bamboo number two now being able to walk out of their homes. For the last four days they have been trapped as water levels were seen in some areas as high as six and eight feet. Many are now trying to clean as the water is receding, but they are still counting their losses as the water stay in their homes for over four days and many are now looking at the government for assistance. Bamboo number two is known as the automobile capital for parts and the flood water did not spare many of the businesses. Businessman and the community activist Inshan Ishmael said that he has lost a lot, but he's still optimistic. There's a hurdle in life. Get over it and move on, because at the end of the day, you studying here what's happening, you got a little cut on your finger. It have people who don't have no armor. So at the end of the day, that is how I look at life, because the assistance we have been getting from people, the calls that we have been getting is amazing. He added that legal action is still going ahead as the legal team is expanding. We have contacted a surveying company to do a top, uh, topography of the Kearney River Bank. Uh, the last one we are aware was done in 2014. So therefore that will tell us the highs and lows of the bank. In other words, we are doing what the ministry is doing, but for this now, it will add to the legal action we, um, we have full intents on taking. What happens is that we have been contacted by other attorneys as well. And as the water goes down, more villagers will be able to access their homes in the next few days. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.